Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquay of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. This morning, I like to, I like to capture my, my thought with um, digestive nothing. Digestive nothing. I'm taking to the story of Luke chapter 15, the story of the prodigal son. If you remember, the Bible said, now when he had squandered all the wealth that he had acquired from his father through demand and, of course, supply, uh, principle in his mind. He had demanded everything from his father, his portion, and he wasted it. But also he ended up in the pigsty. He was looking after pigs. He ended up in the pigsty. And when he ended up in the pigsty, I was reading the story in the Bible, there, and he had even seen, yet it began to, he was so hungry, he began to feed himself with pig food. And that was very alarming. I mean, he was now at the place to feed on pig food. And uh, one of the interesting things about pig food I know is something called husk. It's something called husk. It is chaffy. It is husk. And here is uh, the, the interesting thing about pig sty and then the, the husk. Now, the husk is something that takes part in the digestive process, but it has no calorie value to the food. It takes part in the digestive process, but has no calorie value to the food. So it helps digestion, but it doesn't add anything. And that is the food of prodigality. And I'm, and I'm very, very fascinated because something is going on. And especially amongst charismatics, and especially among, sometimes you really wonder, what are we listening to? We're listening to things that excite us, but doesn't it, doesn't, it doesn't produce transformation in us. We, 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 we are filled with things that sets us on a high. But there's no, there's no change, there's no transformation in our lives. I, I remember one, one time I, I met a lady who had come from a very famous church and I asked her, how was church today? Powerful. What did the pastor pray? Powerful. What did he say? Powerful. And everything was powerful. She couldn't even remember, but she was still in the excitement of the this thing. And that's where the challenge is. So we are exciting people, but we're not transforming them. We're allowing God's word to excite them, but the God's word is not bringing transformation in them. So people go back to church, they go to church and come back from church the same, no, nothing, no resolve, nothing. They've not had a revelatory word, not just a revelatory word, they've not had a decisive word, a word that brings them to the place of, of decision, and a word that also introduces pressure, discomfort to them. But all we do is to feed them with husk. That excites them, Ooh, ah, but nothing really to produce for it. It excites them but doesn't produce fruit in them. It excites them, but doesn't get them pregnant. And that's where the challenge is. That's the food of prodigality. And that's, that's what has been happening. And I'm very worried by the fact that we get to places where we get to church and everybody's on a high. But when we come on, not, nothing is there to prove what we learned. There are no applicative principles for the people to leave the place and, wo and work with it. I mean, Peter preached a very powerful sermon, if you remember. In, in Acts chapter 2, powerful sermon. But then the people asked him something. They said, men and brethren, what shall we do? That means you, you've you raised, I mean, you've, blo I mean, you've blown our minds with the exegesis, Jesus apologetics and all the hermeneutics, homiletics, you've, I mean, done everything. But then they asked the basic question, men and brethren, what shall we do? You have not let, let I mean, you've not left them applicative windows for them to be able to apply. You have not left them out, we've not left them with principles to follow or principles to apply in their lives. And that's the challenge right now. We are feeding on husk and there's no transformation. We're feeding on things that age digestion but doesn't add any calorie value. So we're having a bunch of Kwashiorkor Christians. Starved Christianity. There's no word. There's no word. Our foundations are not built on the word. Our foundations are built on the bless me club, the who's and the has. That's what is happening right now. 
So you have people who name Christ, but there's no Christ-like nature in them because there's no transformation. It's sad, but that's the reality. So we are feeding on husk, the things which will help digestion, but doesn't add any calorie value to our lives. We're not dealing with things that will transform us. Our gospel is now is not, is not becoming just excitement and not transformative. And many of us will surround ourselves, it's, it's just excitement. It's just this, this thing. Oh, but in reality, there's no transformation. We're still in our old works. We're still doing the things that we used to do wrong before we gave up life to Christ. We're still doing them. But this is what it is. So you see, we, we, shouldn't, we, we shouldn't feed on just husk. We should not feed on God's word, the transformative word of God. And that's our choice. See you later.